Hello there, it's Orc Tim, and today I'm going to just talk about my other project I'm planning to start. Um, like the Silver Burnet, it took a bit a while to get models paint to come and get everything ready um, because I like to get everything exactly right and set plus the scenery. And lucky enough, I got a lot of the scenery sorted because. Um, um, I know where to get loads free, <laughs> my brother. Um, but I did mention this project before, and I chose to uh, put that downside, but I have chose to uh, bought it back uh, out and start going because I needed to paint models and get stuff ready. So, and this is uh, five press, uh, press X from home, uh, the third edition. Um, I joined a, like a a sync, uh, Facebook page to do with to talk about single games, and I put a question out goes how many uh, sci-fi solo games out there, and I got quite a few like Core Space and so uh, this one, and and there's another one by Joseph McConaughey, but I didn't want to do another one of him because I'm doing the Silver Bear and the Rangers of Shadow Deep, so I wanted something completely different, and that's why, uh, and this came up a lot. Um, when people were saying the opinion, they said this is really good. Uh, I bought it a while ago, and I want to start it going. So, this um, video or groups of videos, I say, will break up of making uh, the first thing is making up my crew. Um, luck enough, I have a lot of sci-fi models. They're not Game Workshop models, and I got a starter kit about a good three, four years ago, and it's from this. There are loads of unique models in there, fantastic, quite nice scopes, so I'm going to use them oh, from um, uh, my crew and other things what I need to. So I just need to make the crew, maybe buy some new stuff, paint up the guys and get the setting ready and it depends what setting because you make the crew you make the world you are, the planet you are, the world, or yeah, the planet you are, and so on and so forth. And then I can start from there. And that's the whole point. Um, like the self there, I've got some things, but it took a while to get it, I don't think. It's um, luck enough, Snarrow 2 will be hopefully coming maybe in a uh, week or two. And um, hopefully the background of um, Daniel, uh, Captain Daniel Phillipson will come as well. But that's another story. Um, so today this video is just making my crew. I have did a test run uh, already. That's what a lot of that dribble, uh, scribble is. Um, how I'm going to do, because the problem um, when you making your crew, you can do a couple options. There are crews in there already, you can pick from. You can pick your crew, so I want a, a human, that alien, that special creature, creature and so on. Or you can ram, randomize. I'm going to do randomize, but the problem is when you random roll, sadly you can turn out to have more of one thing. Like the first time I uh, I, I did six, six different crew, crews and um, one of the crews I rolled were all humans. The best one I rolled was Two humans, three primary aliens, and one strange creature. Um, and so on and so forth, and you have the row for what aliens you can get, and so on and so forth. So it's a lot of variety. Um, and um, I'm going to roll um, six groups of six dice, and I will pick out the crew which one I like best. Um, then I will um, write, um, then I'll then do another video, do the background. If there are certain aliens or something, there has, I then need to roll because you can have, um, when you're rolling for aliens and special creatures, you roll again to make them find out what they are. Humans and um, bots, that's what they are, that's what you get. And then backgrounds, classes, and um, what makes them go mo most soon. That's the word so, and so on and so forth, and then gear you start, and a couple other things. So, the first video is 
about me rambling it on a little bit and um, me rolling the dice um, for the crew. So that's the start of this whole group. So it's going to be a lot of small ones. I didn't want to do a big video because it could be hour long and some people don't want to watch an hour on, but when it's a video like 20 minutes, half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, I think that'd be better. That's the reason why behind it. Um, but that's really it. I I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I am up to, I think, 41 subscribers. I'm very happy, nearly hitting the 50 mark. And um, I'm looking forward and let the channels grow. And I'm really appreciated everybody who watches my crap. <laughs> um, it's not crap, but that's how I put it, but I appreciate it. And um, hopefully Paul will do more videos. He's just a bit more ca camera shy and he's not a big fan, but I'm trying to push him to do it. But I enjoy doing this. Um, I do this in my spare time. I spend more money I would normally, but not loads. But I would normally would play this in my spare time, but I thought to make a channel out of it and it's coming along quite well. Um, maybe I would say, um, but otherwise that's it. But I appreciate everybody um, and um, let's get into it and let's start rolling for my crew. Many thanks. Right, um, what I'm planning to do is to roll up to six crews, so um, six locks of six, so 36 times I'm going to roll on the dice for um, the crew, because um, some crews can be boring, I've said that I've done this, I've rolled five, uh, all six um, dice and they turned out to be all human. I don't want that. I want a variety of aliens, humans, bots, whatever. Depends what I roll. So, that is the table. You have uh, 1 to 16 is human. 16, 61 to 80 is primal alien. 81 to 90 is a bot. And 91 to 100 is a special creature. Then this table is what primal name you have and these are the special creatures so firstly you've got a table on table on table for some of them each one of them has some stats so a human that is reaction one speed four combat skill zero toughness three and scab is uh, zero but they get one luck point and only humans have that then like a bot is reaction two, speed four, compact skill plus one, toughness four, scavens plus two. You and they have their own special rule. I think bots have a natural six up arm save and so on and so forth. Um, so each one's different. So let's get right into it. So crew one. So I will fisty row up and um, pick. The best um, crew I would like the look of. So, now flowing dice everywhere. So, first man. Uh, I am not choosing a caption for anything at the time. I will pick um, that time. So, 33 is human. For the first crew member. 35 is another human. Generally, half your crew should be at least human or at least two. Um, likes my 33s. Okay, another human. Right, no more 30s, please. Okay, this is what I mean. It's another human. And this is why the whole point of um, rolling. 95 special creature. And another human. So, so five humans, one special creature. It's generally not the most insightful one, but it depends what the other roles are like. So, crew group two. 74. That is a primary alien. So, already completely different. This is why I'm rolling six of a crew to pick the best one I like. Uh, 68. 
is another primary alien. I really like this crew a bit better more. 86? It's a bot. Ooh. 95 special creature. Oh, wow. At this right, I think I'm going to... Not going to... Why? Two is a human. Only one human so far. I'll say this is very promising. Uh, and 57 and a human. Wow, I think we might found our set already. That is a really good roll of fry tea, I have to say. But, okay, crew at three and 31 a human. Uh, hold on. That's ten. Human, sorry, my I. So that's ten. A uh, human. Eighty six. That is a bot. Yes, eighty six is the bot. Uh, another human, that's 16. 63, primary alien. Territory, just still not that one's not too bad. And another human. So. Table four. Uh, 95, it's a special creature. Oh, first one. Second one, dead on. No, that's a one, human. Uh, another human. Sixty-one, that's a primary alien. Uh, another human. Uh, and another human. Okay, table five. Uh, special creature. Uh, human. Another special creature for 91. That's quite different. 87. That's a primary alien. Oh, this one's getting quite interesting as well. Eighteen, a human, and, for f uh, and another human. So, right, right, last one. Seventy six, a primal alien. A human. <laughs> Another human. One more. That's it. And sadly, another human. Uh, primary 85. No. It's a bot. And another human. So, crew one is five humans and a strange creature.
Brutus, two primate aliens, one bot, one strange character, uh, creature, not character, creature, and two humans. Um, table three is four humans, one bot, and one primate alien. Uh, so I can't count. Uh, table four is four humans, one strange creature, one prime alien. Table five is two strange creatures, one prime alien, three humans, and then number six is four humans, one bot, one prime alien. So you can see quite quickly how different a rolling. You can roll something really boring like five humans, one strange creature, or I would say a table two, two prime aliens, a bot, a strange creature, and a human. So you've got very variety. So I think it's not a hard one to choose. I'm going for crew two. So that's the one I'm going to choose, without a doubt. That is, a, I've got two normal humans, two primary aliens, and a bot, and strange creature. I have. A variety, a lovely variety. Um, I'm going for that one without doubt. So, so uh, just wait for me. I'm gonna now draw up a set table for backgrounds and so on top and aliens on the race. Okay. Right, I've sorted the table. You, I may. Uh, it's very scruffy draw, drawn because it makes sense to do it. So you got the crew. The backgrounds, monstration, and class. Um, the reason I put the crew up because some of the alien species have um, you need to roll and find out what aliens they are. So, like again, lots of lists. You've got a big list of backgrounds, a big list of monstration. Sorry, this and classes. So, the first one, it goes down the line, is alien races. So, yeah, roll for them. To find out what do we get for our first primary alien? Oh, I'm looking. What am I looking at? But uh, da, 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 da. right, ninety-seven. It is a swift. What is a swift? Oh no, that's the wrong one there, the pharaohs. Swifts are wing, diamond wing lizard people, their special seeds are nicknamed swift due to the erect jerk moments. They are reaction one, speed a bit faster, and no combat skill, toughness three, and so on and so forth. Uh, during the battle, swifts may use their movement action to glide down to so they're like fishy, like a reptile lizard person. Um, that's very, very interesting. So he, uh, we got Swift. Hopefully we got a model for that. I don't know, but that's quite interesting. So yeah, well for a background for that, I've no idea. What if, I haven't chosen the leader or anything. Uh, twenty nine. Um, military outposts. Yeah, 29 military outposts. Plus one reaction, it's how fast they are. That's not bad. So, most facing what moves are lizard friend move? Survival, 20, yeah, that's 26. Survival. Uh, he gets plus one. T uh, he or she, or it, gets plus one toughness. That is a, that's a pretty good roll so far. And class, uh, ninety eight is a scavenger. Okay, you get it's plus one rumor, but it gets plus one 
high tech weapon and that is pretty good for our last character um it's gone very bc i do like that right then so next one let's roll for the human well so um, humans don't roll because a human is a human <laughs> so net roll for background um, with the backgrounds and any of these I might roll a bit twice because I don't want like generally the same person it's like 28 I wrote a military background that's pretty good but I want to have something different so 67 Research outposts. Uh, 67, yeah, research outposts. Uh, he gets plus one, sav, S A double V Y. And plus one gadget. Right, that's pretty not bad. What most effect? Number four, wealth. Uh, I start uh, plus one d six credits. Credit is money. And what class? Forty eight. Uh, is a trader <laughs> plus two, is it yes 48 correct yep yeah. 2d6 credits all right he's the one of all the money so he's a very he's been living on, on a research outpost background but he went in the trade uh trader class so he's that really makes sense because he's looking for wealth and he's a trader uh, and research outpost, you can get some stuff that's quite good. So, uh, he's a definitely trader guy. So, next goes to the bot. Next. Again, bots don't roll anything special because the bots, uh, they generally are special. It's um, They are pretty good. They are better toughness, better combat, and so on and so forth. Reaction to, and they've just got so much. They got like a natural six plus armor save and different injury table and so on and so forth. Um, so they got some benefits and negatives. So, because there's the bot. Right, 97, Wasteland Nomad. So, <laughs> As his background, should be no bottom. Uh, plus more reaction. The bot starts with two, so he's get three and a plus one low tech weapon. So that's pretty good. Fifty. Oh, six. Disco uh, discoverer. I think that's right. Discover. Yes, dead on. Next one will be loyalty. Uh, C O V E Y plus plus one scab. I might not have to double check what that word say, just hold on. So it's right, it is plus one it's plus one savvy. Uh what a row 56 is that on and he gets plus one gadget as well. And uh he is, was a navigator.
I get plus one patron. Uh, patrons are quite important. They're the ones that can give you uh, money and he gets plus one story point as well. So the boat, but it's quite interesting. So he's a wasteland nomad. He's a, he, he likes to want to discover stuff and he's a navigator. The West thing, they all do well, work well. So so far, free for free, they do have decent things and then do go well together. So let do the other human. So, can we keep our good rolls up? 46. Nope. And for, uh, ooh, forming is a... <sighs> 14 guard. I double check if I'm reading that right. No, that's a punk. I think, yeah, Foreman Guard. Front, oh, Front Tie Guard or something. I think it's 14 Guard or something. He gets plus one combat skill. So that is pretty good. Because humans, I think, start with zero. I think most things start with pitch zero. So he starts part with one. That is pretty good. 53. Uh, we do got Discovery. I don't want the same. Or should I? No. 85. Power. Okay, yeah. I think that suits him more. He gets plus 2 XP. And he has a. And we start with a rifle as well. A rifle as well, because they're the ones that hate us. So that's going to make it interesting. And 15 is a hacker. Okay. He is plus one sav savvy. And he's got enough rifle. So obviously he's, this chap is very not uh, the good type of human. So let's do a primary... Alien uh, for the last one. So, we... right, sorry about that. My mum walked in and um, I hit the stop button instead of the pause button. <laughs> Joyful as living at home, people keep in will interrupt you. So, um, what we're doing, we're, we're about to roll on the primate alien table. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Check what we get. 40. Uh, 24. Oh, God. Oh, that's 24 anyway. It's definitely not zero. Uh, kidneys. I uh, can't even pound that. See, some of horrible. Right. These are proud and warlike aliens with disease for brutality and seeking for honor. Um, reaction 1, speed 4, combat 0, toughness 4, sap is, sap is 0. When brawling, the character must... Well, they can may roll twice, picking the better dice. Nice. And they... M okay, they have to hit, they have to go in close combat. They no question asked. So that's quite interesting. So we've got two quite in different guys. Right. His background. Research point. I don't want enough research point. I want stuff. Oh, well, hold on. Research outpost. No, we don't have that. Okay. We want something different. Come all the backgrounds. We want something different. These are one. Peaceful high tech colony. I don't really think he'd be on a peaceful country for what background he is, for what alien. It's got good stuff, but that does not suit the alien race at all if they're very war-hungry battle guys. Oh, I think you agree that, to me, I think that's one of the worst ones to, it, to have. Let's hope something better. <laughs> 
89 in Dutch industrial world. Okay, yeah, that is generally better. And this is how, my opinion, does not have as Jenny not good. He gets plus one gear and that is it. Then other one gets plus one savvy and plus one d6 credit, but that does not show what he is. Right. 99 Freedom. To XP. Right, that's interesting. Huh. And 78. <laughs> he has a trouble it is trouble uh trouble shooter or shooting trouble shooting well it's not really sure he gets plus one reaction terrible oh, terrible shooter he gets plus one reaction and plus one low tech weapon and that is him next one last one special creature they have a massive list uh, I've not read half of these hopefully we right 43 a uh, genetic uplift yep 42 to 47 okay all manager of guarantee adjustment are Possible with the base base human temperament, they could of course be used to create limited superhumans. If you have this cast, this one had the cash. Uh, if you have the cash, this one had the ca cash. So reaction to oh wow, Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. He has reaction two, speed five, combat skill plus one, toughness four, and skill plus one. But all background roles that would be so in added, um, adding credit are ignored. The crew received one added revival C pay. So I uh, ignore all credits if I get on my background, and I get automatically plus one. Um, um, rifle deck automatically. Um, so I will start the table with three rivals and one patron. That's gonna be interesting. So uh, background is only for the background if I get credit. So I don't want anything with credit. Oh my god, I got 78. In Sotolate Enclave, two quest rumors. Oh wow, okay. That's a big word, and I maybe pronouncing it incorrectly. Enclave, two. Quest rumors. I do not know what the hell they are, but that sounds really different. Table thirty one. He's escape to escape. It's more like from the rifle he's got, <laughs> but it gets plus one speed. That's pretty good. So he's uh, speed. Jesus Christ! It's gonna be speed five, six. Sorry, 
he smells wonderful. And 65. <laughs> wow, he is a soldering. He gets plus one speed as well. So he is speed seven. I need to double check if they can go more than that. Just hold on. Nope, the maximum you can get is speed eight. So he's speed seven. He is generally Wow, yeah, so, so, mm, so he is a fast, um, very interesting, fast chap, uh, wow, so, that is my crew, um, so, we're going to do the gear, uh, gear next, um, how are we going to do it? Um, I will go through, but some of them have some starting gear, like low-tech weapon, that will be theirs, and the other ones is a pool. And also, I think I will do one more thing, I think I will row for my ship as well. So, I'm going to stop it here, and then do a little bit of reading and make another list as well. <laughs> Sorry, another list, great. <laughs> Hi there, this is Orc Tim, and I chose to break um, some of these videos up, what I said, to sm in small, so this is part one, so um, hold on to part two, it will come very shortly afterwards. Many thanks.